What's up beautiful humans? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing my first ever Walt Disney World haul. I just got back from Walt Disney World a couple weeks ago and if you haven't seen that vlog series it's gonna be right here so make sure to check that out but also I spent way too much money so let's take a look at what I got. Okay so I don't really know how to categorize these because there are a lot of things that don't make sense. <laughs> Um, together. It's just, I just saw it. I wanted it. Like Ariana Grande says, I see it. I want it. I got it. And, um, so maybe I'm going to do the big things first because I already had them placed behind me, um, on my setup. So I wanted to kind of put them back where they belong in our, in the home. So maybe I'll start that way. And some of these are first time purchase for me, um, as far as the category of the item. So I'm super excited to show you that. So let's start off with the first one. So the first one is the Madame Leota zipper. And you can't tell now, but uh, maybe if I turn this light out, you can see that it lights up. Ooh. So I got that and it's just a zipper. I've never bought a zipper before because I've never seen the point, but I love Haunted Mansion, as you guys know. So I had to, um, I had to get it. I waited 45 minutes in line for this and you just, it's really cool. You just, Pop it up, it's got your straw right here. And it's kind of like a, I mean, I don't know if it would spill necessarily. Um, and you unscrew here. And obviously your straw, you just put your drink in there and you're good to go. So I thought it was really cool and really cute, but I'm not probably never gonna put a drink in here. I'm gonna put it behind me because I need her to watch over me. The next thing I got, I've also never purchased before. It is a popcorn bucket. And one of my new favorite um, top 10 Pixar Disney movies of all time is Onward. I love Onward. I love the story. I love the animation. I love, you know, Chris Pratt, Tom Holland. Great. So I went and bought myself a Guinevere. And I'm not going to turn my light out again, but the lights, Guinevere's lights light up. You got Ian and Barley right there driving Guinevere. Her wheels move. And uh, she is gorgeous. Also, um, if you wanted to use it as a popcorn bucket, obviously your popcorn goes in here. And it has the Onward um, with Guinevere's logo, like her stallion majesticness. So you can hook it on if you wanted to, but I didn't. I would just like to keep this, a little Guinevere behind me. The next thing I got was something that I recently kind of gotten into, I'm not obsessed but I, um, well, I'm not obsessed with this part of it, but I am obsessed with a different storyline, but I got this beautiful Starfighter. Look at that. It's made of wood, but I just thought it was so cute. I saw it in Galaxy's Edge at one of the stalls in the marketplace, and it was only $19.99, but I got a pass holder discount and I just thought it was so cute and it stands up well on its own obviously so I wanted to get that because it was still really simple and just cute um, the next things I got are controversial and um, I'm not sorry I have them I'm very excited that I have them because I saw them immediately the day they came out and I bought them because my last trip in March I also bought a pair of these because my feet were on fire from my normal shoes. I literally chucked my shoes in the trash can after that. They were like really old and they definitely could have been thrown away. So um, that is a tip. Don't wear brand new shoes, but don't wear old shoes either. Make sure they're well-worn shoes that are you're comfortable in, but I had to get my a pair of these shoes that I swore I would never wear last trip. And this trip, I did it guys. I bought the Baby Yoda metallic Crocs. Uh, this piece of Baby Yoda, or the child, does not come off. It is permanently stuck. There's not even a hole to even try and get it off. Maybe you could. Anyway, it's not a gibbet. Um, it is stuck on there, but I got these and uh, I'm not sorry. The next thing I got is the part of my obsession. Um, and I have been, I've seen this um, for the past couple months since it came out and I knew I had to have one because it's so 
cute. What is this? I got this um, Baby Yoda plush and um, I just think that he's so cute. And this is like the, the normal size one. They had a smaller one um, that had like a frog that you can put in his mouth and things like that. But this one was so, so squishy. He has no legs, spoiler alert. Um, but he has like a, a bottom that he can stand up on his own. And I just thought he was so cute. And I'm gonna get him a hat maybe next time so I can have him a little um, ear hat so he can participate in the, the love. But I mean, look at his little nose and his little mouth. He's so cute. So he's just been keeping me company up here on my desk and uh, I just love him. So if you guys have seen my videos, I normally wear um, one necklace that is the partner statue. Probably won't focus. Or be bright enough. But it is the partner statue from Pandora. I have it on like a really long chain. And then, so, Paul, Pandora. And this is what I got. I just got a chain. I had this charm of the Sorcerer Mickey hat. I've had this charm for a while, but I hadn't gotten a chain for it because I wanted to kind of try them on and make sure they laid in the same, um, in the same way. So I wear them both together. And they just hang like that. I was blending in with my shirt since it's silver. But I wore them like that. My partner statue and my Sorcerer Mickey hat. So I got a new chain. I didn't get a new charm, but Pandora. Okay, so at this point we are to the pin section. I got a few, um, but I'm kind of holding my food and wine merchandise to be all together. So I'm going to do pins some um, apparel and then go back to just food and wine all together. But to start off my pins, of course, as you guys know, I stayed on property for the first time and I did stay at the Caribbean beach. So I got this pin at the shop and I just thought it was so cute. But also this is the only Caribbean beach pin they have, which I find kind of strange. Um, I like that Mickey's in a hammock. It has the iconic, you know, Caribbean beach towers and it's just so, I think it's really pretty. So I can't wait to add that to my board. The next pin I got, I actually have something very similar because the Skyliner is my favorite form of transportation at Walt Disney World. It's so peaceful, it's quiet until that lady comes on and starts talking to you. But I love the views, I love the ease of it. It's so easy, especially if you're staying at Caribbean Beach or you're going from Epcot to Hollywood Studios or you know, you're doing this whole thing, Pop Century Art of Animation. And I just saw this and it says magic in the air. And I just thought it was so pretty. The next pin that I got is not super specific. It doesn't say exactly where I got it from, but I think you can kind of guess where I got it from. It is a totem pole with all of the characters on it. It's got Mickey, Goofy, and our little mascot friend from where? Wilderness Lodge. We had breakfast at Wilderness Lodge Whispering Canyon, which is the video that is coming out on Wednesday. So make sure to stay tuned for that, turn on the bell notifications. But I knew I love Wilderness Lodge, one of my favorite resorts. It's so beautiful, very Pacific Northwest, and I love the Pacific Northwest. So I knew I had to get my totem pole. And it's such a thin pin that it won't take up a lot of space on my pin board. So I really like that as well. And you know, that is, I just love it. It's so cute. Mickey just, Mickey's just in his little, little hat. So cute. The next pin I got is actually one of my favorite rides of all time. And I saw this and I knew I had to have it because I yell this a lot and I'm sure the people around me are bothered by it. But I got Sivako! Rise to the challenge. I just thought this was a really pretty pin. It's very much, you know, Joe Rody Pandora like inspired from the way that it's written. And it has that, that banshee on it, but it says Sivako. I knew I had to have it. And the next few are especially from Galaxy's Edge. And I just wanted to look at the pins that they had because I don't have any really Star Wars pins. I have a Hoth pin that came with my D23 set, but 
I didn't have anything specific to Batu or Galaxy's Edge or Black Spire Outpost, so I knew I had to do that. So here's the first one. It is a Batu pin. They're open edition, so this, these aren't like, you can go to the parks and get these at any time. Um, they don't have a limit on them. They will probably keep making them for a long, long time. So I have that Batu one. And then I have this Black Spire Outpost pin. And these are also, because they're open edition and they're not as coveted, they're only $10 with an annual password discount, you get 20% off, so it's eight bucks. So why not? I mean, look at that, beautiful. Next one is specific to Rise of the Resistance. You got a BB-8 um, droid there, or not BB-8 specifically, but a BB droid from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I still don't follow along that much, but this looks like a BB-8. Um, so I'm assuming it's just a BB droid and then his number would be specific to himself, but it says Rise of the Resistance on it. And it has the resistance symbol and we didn't get to ride it this time, unfortunately, and uh, but we have ridden it before, no bummer, like I'll ride it next time. But I saw this and I was like, God, I had to grab it. We're not moving to the apparel parts of, the, of this. Um, this isn't like a huge haul. I bought very small items, I guess, when I've seen people buy like bags and bags and bags of things. I um, didn't do that. So um, we're moving on to the apparel, but I want to stay in a Star Wars theme. I saw this shirt and I had to have it because as you guys know, as I said previously, I'm not a huge Star Wars person, but I love The Mandalorian and I love The Child and Baby Yoda. I just think it's the storyline, the cinematography, everything. And it's also that like acid wash um, material. So I was super pumped for that because I'm super into that style, like grungy, um, like not like goth, but like grungy 90s um, style t-shirts and I just, it looks worn, it looks vintage, and I just love it, and it's really soft, so I had to get this, it's so cute. If you guys watch my Magic Kingdom video, which I'll put right here, it is um, one of my favorite things to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates is my, one of my favorite rides, and I cannot wait to ride it in other theme parks around the world because I think, apparently from what I've heard and seen, that the Walt Disney World Pirates is kind of lame compared to other ones, so I'm super excited to um, ride the other ones. But I love it anyway. I love the smell, um, iconic, the drop, the breeze that you get, red, of course. And as we were leaving Pirates, which is our last ride of the day, I saw this shirt as I walked out. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. And it had like a sleeve design and it says, dead men tell no tales on the sleeve. And it's got Johnny in the treasure room and all the best. I just thought it was really cool, really simple, um, black. <laughs> and uh, it's again, super soft. I love a soft t-shirt. And speaking of soft t-shirts, I got uh, this, which it's a very light shirt for me. This shirt is literally the only white shirt that I own. Um, so most of the shirts I own are like gray, or like a neutral color or an earth tone. So I saw this and I just thought, that is adorable. It says timeless. It's got Mickey, Pluto, Donald, and Goofy on it. And like, just some color. I normally don't wear a lot of color, but I just thought this was so classic looking and of course, timeless. And this one was actually a shirt that I saw online that I wanted to get. And Disneyland has its own version of it. So I might snag that as well for maybe hopefully an upcoming Disneyland trip but I had to snag it. It is adorable. Look at them. Look at that. So cute. So, and it says Walt Disney World. Um, Disneyland has their own version of this. It's literally the exact same graphic with a different castle, obviously, but it says Disneyland on it, Disneyland California. So I wanted to snag that when I got to Disneyland, but I had seen this online. I almost bought it online, but I didn't, but I'm glad they had it in the park. So I grabbed it then. And now we are done with mo with all the apparel except for food and wine, which I wasn't a huge fan of the food and wine merchandise this year as far as the like apparel went. But the one thing that I did like was this gorgeous, it's hooded, but if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I have a Skyliner hoodie that's just like this. It's very thin 
I mean, it's like a t-shirt material and it's thin and it says food and wine and it's got Remy on it on the front. And then down the sleeve, it says pass holder and it's got, you can't see that unless I put my arm through it. It's got a meal. What is he hugging? Blueberries maybe? A meal hugging blueberries? And then on this sleeve, it's got some graphics like the prettiest girl in school, wine and more wine. <laughs> Got some graphics down the sleeve but i love this maroon color um, i think it always is a winner it's a neutral still an earth tone and i think it looks good on me but i have my remy it's like some shaking some salt some salt bay if you will and it's very like thin and soft mm, i had to have it so now that we have been introduced to the food and wine which is the last part of this video um by that beautiful sweatshirt i wanted to show you the prize for Remy's Hide and Squeak Scavenger Hunt, which thankfully they still are doing this year. And um, you buy this for $8, the scavenger hunt itself. You put the stickers, you help Remy make Ratatouille around the World Showcase, and you turn it in. And this is one of the um, bottles you can receive. And it has a hook, so you can hook it to your backpack. And obviously it's just plastic, doesn't keep really anything insulated, but if you needed water to fill up very quickly, and you wanted to kind of move along without having just a cup, a loose cup, great to do that. And it's super lightweight, um, good for around the house, great for kids because it's plastic and it's really fun to do Remy's with hide and squeak. So go ahead and do that. They also have um, cups with this kind of same design. Remy, Figment, Minnie, and Mickey are the four you can choose from in a water bottle or in a like a, like a little cup, um, probably like eight ounce, it's very small. So continuing our search to quench our thirst, I got, this insulated water bottle. It's a pass holder exclusive for the Food and Wine Festival. And it's got Remy and Emil, and it's like titanium, like, there's a paper in it. Not leak proof. Don't mind brand it and don't put it in the dishwasher friends but here's the new water bottle i can use it around the house and i love that it's super simple it says 25 years of food and wine festival pass holder and it's got that remy blue that they are doing this year so i thought it was super cute so i grabbed it it was 28 dollars, and then pass holder discount but that's crazy for a water bottle, don't you think? Now we have come to the pin portion of Food and Wine Festival, and this is where I kind of just say yes, 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 and yes to all the pins. Um, they do have a pin set this year for the Food and Wine Festival. It's a mystery set, and I want they have a Duffy in there, but I can't do mystery boxes. The spending money, and then I'm not guaranteed that they're all different. It's a whole thing. I can't do it. So if you guys have those, let me know down in the comments below because I want to see the Duffy one and I want it. That's, I want it. That's the only reason I want to go to the Asia parks. Other than the rides and the food and the atmosphere and the vibe, it's the pins. <laughs> it's Duffy and friends. But anyways, so the first one that I did was, it's a limited release so you can have it all festival. It is the three set of Figment, Minnie, and Mickey. I thought it was so cute and you get three pins on one card, but I'm gonna take it off the card and put it on my board. But look at, they're so cute in their little chef outfits. So this next one is a limited edition of 3500, the 25 um, anniversary, 25th year of Food and Wine Festival with Mickey holding a platter and it has the 25th anniversary kind of emblem there. He's just holding it on a, cloche or as a cloche almost and it says international food and wine festival 25th year 2020 and his face look at that smug the next one is also a food and wine but it is a limited edition of bernard and bianca having dinner where he proposes i have never seen bernard and bianca featured like this 
and it is so cool. The Rescuers are such an underrated movie and it is so cool to have them just sitting there waiting for their food and uh, so cute. It's a limited edition of 3000. Um, so I'm glad that I snagged that and it he has like the Epcot ball behind him. So cute. Oh, I love them. So this next one is the Figment pass holder pin. It's got a dangly and I don't really like danglies, but it is what it is. And it's a Figment style for this year's festival. And I had to have it. It's a limited edition of 3000. So I always snag those just because. And Figment's, Figment's um, like style this year for the actual like food and wine logo is really cool. Uh, it's got like food in the holes of like the E, like instead of just a normal, like where you make an E, it's got like a pear instead of like a normal circle. It's really cool. And it's just like super fun, super creative, super colorful, like Figment. And our last one is a limited release, so they will have it all festival, but it is the Mickey and Minnie pass holder pin for the food and wine festival. It is adorable and it's actually pretty heavy for some reason. And it just says Food and Wine Festival 2020. Uh, Minnie has baked Mickey a muffin and uh, she's just sharing it with him. I thought that was super cool. Oh, that is actually it. It's not a lot of stuff. Um, it's just a lot of small things and I cannot wait to do more of these. I really enjoyed showing you guys what I got and I really enjoyed purchasing them, obviously. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And turn on that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And hopefully I'll spend less money next time. And until that time, be a beautiful human. Bye. Want to subscribe? Click or tap right here. Want more Magic Mondays? Click or tap right here. Want more of the adventure? Click or tap right here.